Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another new video here on the channel. It's been a little while since I uploaded, but I figured this was a good way to bring it back. If you guys haven't been watching the streams, we got some vibey lights in the background, stuff like that. But we're here in FIFA 15, playing with Atlanta United. We're taking over basically the spot for Orlando City. Orlando City was in this um, game as a add-on with NYCFC. Uh, we are actually in League 2 in France, but I went ahead and put all 20 teams in, except obviously taking out Orlando. Atlanta United taking their place. Um, as you guys can see here, the table is there, all 20 teams as you would expect. Um, it would help if I turn my controller on. Um, and then, let's see, if we look at the squad, this is crazy, right? So Miggy's back in the team, Pity's also in the team in this. Uh, Joseph Martinez, Tito Villalba, Carmona, Nagby, Parkhurst, uh, Brad Guzan. If you guys are wondering why they're not in form, it's because I simulated uh, preseason games. I guess they didn't play well. Tyrone Mears is back in the squad. Greg Garza is back in the squad. LGP is here. Um, Kyle Rainish is in. Alec Khan's not in this game. Uh, Florentine Pogba is in the, in the squad. Chris McCann, Kevin Kratz, Jeff Lorenowitz. Yamil Assad is back in the team. And funny enough, is higher rated than Miguel Almiron currently. Uh, and that's just how it is in the game. Kenwin Jones back in the squad. Zizo, Zach Lloyd, Arakoyo, who never actually played a game for us. Uh, Bobby Boswell, Jacob Peterson. Uh, Mark Bloom, almost said Michael. Uh, Breck Shea is in the squad as well, 65 rated. Um, Eric Rometty, Harrison Heath, and Romario Williams, who picked up an, uh, an injury. And then the young Franco Escobar also in the squad. So that's our entire team. Uh, that's the squad that we're looking with. Like I said, Pity Martinez is in the squad, 71 rated. Joseph Martinez, 72 rated. Tito Bialba, 71 rated as well. So those are basically like, we could say that you know, Tito was bought out of his contract. Carmona could have maybe been a DP, but not really. Um, and then Joseph Martinez, Pity Martinez, and Miguel Almiron, sure. Um, Barco's not in the game. If they're not in this squad, they're not in the game as far as I know. If you guys know of any players that I forgot, let me know in the comment section down below. But we are playing with a Russian team that had a pseudo nine stripe kit that we decided to go with uh but i just wanted to you know jump into some retro fifa uh i already did a video on fifa 14 with atlanta united where carlos bocanegra is in the squad at center back if you guys want to go check out that video i'll link it down in the description below uh but we're gonna go ahead and play a game here against chicago fire um again this is a career mode if you guys want to see more videos of fifa 15 fifa 14 fifa 16 maybe um and so on so forth i might be able to make some retro videos here um so just kind of let me know what you guys want to see uh, if you guys want to see certain games, me play against Orlando, NYCFC, uh, DC United, you know, some of the other squads, LA Galaxy, go against some like retro teams here. Let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, let's go ahead and hop into this game against Chicago Fire and show you guys what this team is all about. Chicago Fire, this is their lineup. If you guys haven't been watching um, the MLS for very long, you probably don't know the majority of these names. Uh, which is crazy to think that, you know, 2014, 2015, whatever it was, um, really wasn't that long ago, but the MLS has changed so much since then. Here's our squad, Brad Guzan, Tyro Mears, you guys know it all. Um, it's a squad you guys just saw on the menu. Carmona and Nagby playing next to each other, a midfield combination I would have loved to see. Uh, Miggy in the squad. 59 rate 58 rated 58 rated Miguel Almiron. He may not be our center attacking mid going forward. I just realized how bad this kit clash is. Oh no. This is gonna be awful. I apologize for everybody's eyes. Just pay attention to the blue on uh, Chicago's jerseys and not the bright red that is going to mess me up this entire game. Let's go. Joseph Martinez on the ball. Bring it back. Shoot it. Oh, this game feels so different, man. It's crazy how much, like, honestly, of course, we, we all say it, that uh, sports games really never progress or add too many new things when it comes to a yearly release. Um, but, honestly, like, the mechanics of FIFA have changed a lot over the years. Oh, my God. The mechanics and graphics, man, up until, like, what, FIFA 17, really? Graphics weren't that great. Um, I, or was it FIFA 16 whenever we got the, uh, the Frostbite engine? Obviously, that brought a lot of uh, challenges when it came to gameplay. 
but um overall like the graphics man it's crazy we didn't have like good graphics in sports games for so long because like there were really good graphics in other games and all it took was ea to finally give us the battlefield engine to uh to beef us up a little bit Oh, come on, man. But um, it's crazy. It's re it's really, really crazy. I don't know if my screen's, like, zoomed in right now, but, the f like, that, um, the sports ticker in the top, everything just feels zoomed in in this game. Oh, give me that. So we'll start from the back and just go forward. Brad Guzan was playing at Aston Villa at this point in his career. I believe he was still playing at Aston Villa. Um, we ended up buying, getting him from Aston Villa on contract expiry. Um... 78 rated currently in this game. Solid keeper, obviously. Fantastic option. He's done great things for us. Um, let's see. So Alex not in this game. He was playing at Sporting KC, but he wasn't in the lineup for this. So I don't know if he was like not with Sporting KC this year, but he was in FIFA 14, so I don't know. Um, but looking at Kyle Rainish was still in New York Red Bulls at the time, keeper-wise. Uh, our back line, Tyrone Mears was at Seattle Sounders, I believe was still at Seattle. Um, let's see, other back line, Michael Parkhurst was at Columbus Crew at this point. Uh, the previous year, I want to say he was still in Europe. He might, he might have still been in Augsburg in, in FIFA 14. Um, and then LGP was at his last club, I believe, before he came to Atlanta, which was Estudiantes, I believe, in Argentina. Um... Who else do we have in the back line? Our left back, Greg Garza, Tijuana. Uh, Tijuana in Mexico. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Nice, Brad. In the midfield, we have Nagby, who was obviously playing left mid, I believe, at the time at Portland in uh, FIFA 15. Fantastic. Tons of pace. Honestly, kind of wasting him where he's at right now. Carlos Carmona was playing at Atalanta in Italy um, in FIFA 15. Come on, give me that. Uh, we have Pity Martinez on the left, who was playing at River Plate at the time. Um, 71 rated. Uh, midfield, Miguel Almiron was at Lanús. Um, right mid, Tito Vialba at... Uh, I forgot I forgot the name of his club. What is it? San Lorenzo? Um, and then Joseph Martinez was at Torino in... Oh, God, no. <gasps> uh, was at Torino in FIFA 15. He was actually at... Um, a team in Sweden, right? Sweden? He was a young boys and then he was also somewhere else in FIFA 14. But FIFA 15, he was in Torino, um, at least at the end of FIFA 15. I think he was at the beginning of FIFA 15 as well. Put it back. Nice. Get that pass in. Shoot it. Beautiful goal. Let's go, baby. Miggy with the goal. He's wearing number 27 uh, because Pity Martinez is wearing the number 10. I figured I'd give the higher rated player the number 10. Miggy probably deserves it a little bit more, especially after this goal right here. But uh, we take a 1-0 lead. Um, Chivas is still in the game. FIFA 15, it was their last season uh, before they were taken out. And then obviously Orlando and NYCFC entered the league. Um, it was the first year that FIFA had done DLC for um, teams. They added NYCFC and Orlando City to the rest of the world. Uh, they weren't able to add them to the MLS for contract reasons or whatever, but um, it, was, it was definitely interesting. I remember it happening, and I remember, obviously, us not getting it right away when we were added to the league, which was really weird. Give me that. Let's go, Joseph Martinez with the goal. 2-0 against Chicago Fire. Obviously, Joseph looking a little Joseph-like, but not really. Uh, definitely looks better than he did in FIFA 14, but it's kind of crazy looking at it now. Let's go, Tito. Ooh. Let's go, Tito. Tito Vialba makes it 3-0. Obviously, this team's a little cheap in um, the, the 2015 version of the MLS. Um, I do actually really like these jerseys because they're kind of similar to our home kit. It's just the reverse where it's red on the back instead of um, black, but which honestly I think would have looked better on our home kit seeing it now. Uh, but it is, you know, pretty close to our home kit. So uh, I was really glad that they, these were in the game of FIFA 15. I think Donovan retired in FIFA 15, right? Because um, I'm pretty sure he, I, he like got his card. And then he got a legend card because he retired. I think that's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. 3-0 in our first game here. Obviously, like I said, I did take a warm-up game, but nice little goal from Joseph Martinez and Miguel Almiron. 
Um, and then Tito Vialba. So three goals from three different people. And nice and easy. New England beat Colorado. DC beat San Jose. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys want to see more games of this kind of FIFA 15 throwback? I'm going to end up streaming this over on Twitch. So when this video goes live, I'm actually going to be live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Malish. Uh, same as the YouTube name. And if you guys want to come check it out, you can definitely come do so. We're going to be playing FIFA 15 for the majority of today. Um, so if I see you guys over there, I'll see you later. If not, I'll catch you guys at the next YouTube video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.